Hey YouTube, it's Mrs. Rands here. I'm coming at you today with, as the title states, 10 things I've discovered about my natural hair. Um, I just want to quickly go through the things that I've discovered. You know, it may be like, duh, to most of you, but these are things that I have quickly learned um, have been impressed upon me. The first thing I want to say is versatility. Um, that's probably the number one thing I've noticed about curly hair, but it seems like there's more that you can do with it. It doesn't seem like it has to always be straight or has to always be sewn rollers like the way I used to take care of my textilized hair. Um, the second thing would be how much trial and error actually goes through, um, I go through to get a style. So, um, like certain styles are easy and I'm out the door and certain styles take a lot more time for me to just kind of get the way I want it with my relaxed hair or textilized hair. Wrap it, take the wrap down, comb it down, put a part in it and go. Um, so like, although the styles were plain, they seem to be easier. So this is going to take some effort. Um, so the next thing is accessories. Now I know this is not a hair related thing, but I have realized that bold accessories, statement necklaces, larger earrings, all of that seems to be more stand out, stand out with my natural hair. That may change as my hair grows, but right now while it's short, I'm noticing I'm trending towards larger pieces of jewelry. Um, the next thing I've noticed is purple eyeliner. For some reason, my eyes did not pop, did not stand out when I had the longer text lapsed hair. Even when I pulled it back or up in a bun, for some reason, I just didn't notice my eyes. So now, I'm using my purple eyeliner to make my eyes pop. The next thing I noticed was the change in products. All the products I use with my text lapsed hair don't actually work as well with my curly hair. Some of them work well, some of them don't. I have to, you know, kind of figure out a good balance, and I am going to go back to some of my old favorites to try them. Um, I'm more adventurous with new things, I've noticed as well. So, for whatever reason, um, you know, it occurs to me that I want to wear, you know, more headbands, or I want to try wearing a headscarf a certain way, or I want to try, you know, you know, mix and match in earrings. I want to try wearing feathers. Like different things that I would have never thought about before that now stand out I'm trying to wear. Um, number seven would be no prep for sleeping. So I used to have to like wrap my hair, body pin it, put a scarf on it, wake up the next day, comb it down. I mean, it's a lot, a lot less prep time because chances are I'm going to co-wash my hair when I wake up in the morning. So it does not matter, you know, if I sleep on it at night. I mean, I still do want to make sure I don't have breakage and all that. So, you know, that is still a concern. But I don't have to worry about having two head scarves, a satin pillowcase, and sleep, you know, propped up, if you will. So um, I've noticed it's a lot less bedtime maintenance. Number eight would be the wash and go. I have discovered that is my favorite hairstyle. Every single day that I don't have time to do much to it, a wash and go is the way to go. Um, it's easy to style, easy to decide products for, and it works for me. Um, number nine would be making a statement. I've noticed that with natural hair, I don't look like every single person walking down the street. There's nothing wrong with the long extensions. There's nothing wrong with long hair. There's nothing wrong with relaxed hair, textile hair. But I noticed that with my um, curly texture, um, people seem to notice that more about me. So like, for instance, just yesterday, my husband and I went to a car dealership to uh, look at, you know, look into purchasing a new car for us. And the dealer, um, not the dealer, but the finance manager who was in the office, he stopped and he asked me what my nationality was. Before I got my hair relaxed, when I had my hair relaxed, it wasn't as often as I was asked. But now with my hair being all natural, I get asked a lot. And I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing. I, I really don't know. But I just, it's obvious that people have noticed something about me. Um, and the final top 10 thing that I've noticed about my natural hair is that I am not my hair. Although all these things are things that I've noticed, relaxed, natural, doesn't matter to me. You know, God has blessed me with, you know, being who I am and being confident either way and um, feeling like regardless of where I am in my stages in life and the ups and downs of my hair, that I'm still blessed and I'm still his daughter and I'm still abiding in Christ and that's the most important part. So although I've noticed these things about my hair, they don't make me or break me and I'm just blessed beyond measure. Like I can't even believe how blessed a blessed life, you know, my family and I live. So 
Uh, hopefully that was interesting to you. I will be posting this on my blog as well. And until I see you next time, please put God ahead of all you do.